Hi, I'm Steve Miller and welcome back. Uh, this is the Awakening Expo here in 2023 in Manchester and for BK TV World Tour with Billy Carson and Elizabeth Hoekstra, who are this year's sponsors. And I've got an incredible guest with me, the one and only Mr. James Fox. Uh, James, it's I can't believe you're actually here in the well, UK again. It's I, be I beg to differ, but thank you for that introduction. <laughs> <laughs> now, you have been in... What well, you know what what a roller coaster ride you must have had over the last year, you know, with the moment of contact. Yeah, I know you'd had hardly any time to breathe. It just it exploded after, you know. It's how did you manage to deal with all that? Well, so I I look at it as a privilege for me because I've been doing this thirty years now. It's, yeah. it's a privilege to get any spotlight right at all, and um, the phenomenon was 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 a breakthrough film in the sense that. It mm. was the first documentary that I'd done that really transcended the UFO community and went and crossed over. Yeah. And it dealt with alleged close encounters of the third kind. So it was a kind of a, it was yeah. a, it was a big deal, right? And, mm. and so I kind of wanted to keep the momentum yeah, and take advantage of that, of that little uh, minuscule moment in the, in the spotlight, right? And, mm. and, and try to uh, keep, keep it moving forward as are a lot of other researchers in the field right now. It's exactly. It's, it's really, um, it's, it's, it's kind of our time. Well, yeah, it is. And yeah. it's a perfect timing, to be honest with you. And, you know, moment of contact, the Virginia case, it's very, you know, it's known. I don't want to say very well known, but yeah. it's, everybody knows something about it. Nobody's really done anything thoroughly enough on the ground there until you decide to take on that task. Would it ever level to the point of the phenomenon, the challenge that was involved in, in moment, or would you say it was more challenging to do moment of contact? Well, so moment of contact, I, I worked on on and off for 12 years. Um, right. I started in 2011, and I went back and forth to Brazil a number of times, and I would stay for roughly a month each time. Mm. But then I also had co-producers that I was working with, Marco Leal being one of them. Yes. Uh, and there were a number of other uh, researchers that I was working with, both um, publicly and also behind the scenes. Like we were consulting yeah. indirectly with a guy named Uber Jara Rodriguez. He's gone dark. He was a very prominent lawyer. <laughs> right. Um, but uh, so I spent a lot of time on Moment of Contact. And Moment of con uh, and that, that case was going to be part of the phenomenon right oh it's only going to be a little it's it a lot a to little, put in a little bit it, it, and i it's and expanded. i worked on it and i and i was trying to squeeze it in and at the end of the day i just hit the delete button and i wiped it all out it was a very tough it does decision. deserve its own didn't it it really? deserved to be on its own and there were additional eyewitnesses that we had yet to track down that we needed so do you to think there's down. more there's more to do there do you think there's, there's more? so much more to do there yeah oh my gosh there's a lot of things happening a lot of movement a lot of stuff probably going on that we're not even aware of oh my gosh no question you know but it's interesting because there are people that you wouldn't think are paying attention, which are paying attention to this, giving it the time, giving it the credence. It's no longer the topic, which is the elephant in the room anymore, mm -hmm. you know, which it was, it used to be. I, um, I and watched, people are involved. I watched the last congressional hearings. I couldn't go. I couldn't. I just, you couldn't make it now? I had scheduled something months in advance. I was working with a gentleman who'd flown in from from uh, from California, yeah. and we were driving to Boston together. I just I couldn't make it happen. It was just too much. But mm. I watched live from my phone by myself, <laughs> and I got to on honestly tell you that I shed several tears yeah. when I saw that because I thought, yeah. wow, this is really it's happening. It's really happening. Yeah. yeah, and this could be like a safe part of this. Could be a part of history. What's actually actually what we're living now? I mean, how long this phenomenon's been going on for? But you think that we might be living that moment right now, yeah, where the tide turns, and that's fascinating. I, I just all I could think about were people like the people that have come before us, like Stanton Friedman yeah. and James the McDonald, efforts, and all their lives, Keo and and Dr. Jalen Hynek, and yeah. just the list just goes on and on yeah. and on. All the hard work we get there, they'll just take a big deep breath and say, "Okay, we got there." Yeah, you know, but I don't think it can be done without those sort of people, without you, without the effort of public knowledge. Because to general public is the public knowledge is probably one of the most important things. The most important push yeah. on these academics, these are government personnel, is the public and our right to understand and have this information. Because nothing can stay secret forever, can it? One thing you I've know? learned is don't dismiss something just because it sounds too crazy. It's exactly right. Suspend exactly judgment. Right. 
Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of crazy stuff there's that comes out. There's a lot of things, there. strange stuff that's going on in Brazil, you know, Port, uh, Portugal, all all sorts of places like that. Yeah, but it's um, they are fantastic to initially believe. You know, when you first hear these things. Yeah, but when you start to do the research and certainly putting feet on the ground, that's the start to unveiling something which is much more deeper than you initially probably thought. I didn't believe Rua when I first heard about it. No. I heard about it through a, 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 an exchange with a woman named Janet Yang who knew Steven Spielberg, and I was just naive enough oh, to think in the 90s when I was working on my first documentary yeah. that I could get an interview with Steven. Oh, you're doing a documentary on UFOs? Sure, I'll talk to you. No, that wasn't. But he said, uh, he told this woman, Janet, he didn't tell me directly, but he said to Janet, if James is, is uh, working on a documentary on UFOs, I, I'm, I'm going to respectfully decline an interview however he should look into this landing case in africa at the school aerial school yeah and i just and i i just dismissed that one in <laughs> immediately as well yeah. uh the landing case at mm -hmm. uh, socorro new mexico 1964 never paid any attention to that no some kind of the third kind how wrong i was on that one how yeah. wrong i was on rua how wrong yeah. i was on virginia <laughs> yeah. and like these incredible cases are out there they, they yeah. are incredible cases out there but you know sometimes you just think there's no way that could happen exactly. i just you know yeah. i can't believe that so i've learned yeah true just to like you can't obviously judgment. just dismiss everything you don't know, just categorically go that's impossible yeah. i've learned now i've yeah you know, it's like okay i'll listen i just met with some intelligence folks in dc mm. that it'll come out yeah uh, I filmed okay. it with them already, but they're right. they're going through a process. It was uh, they're going through a process of um, uh, whistleblower process. There's a, oh, there's right. a process yes, there, there is through, now. Yes, but we yeah. did on camera interviews, and mm. they didn't give away the super classified stuff. But in in a sense, to protect them, so I, I had copies, mm. and they had copies that if anything happened, because they were they're kind of paranoid. But anyway, some of the stuff that I heard from these individuals, yes. Uh, shocked me really shocked me and i still think ah, god is that you know I, I keep playing it over and over in my head is that is that true could that be true and i keep reminding myself yeah. james suspend judgment i'm not going to say it's true or it's not true but uh, you dig a little deeper you start to realize that if you were personally had their experience mm. how you would manage that and live a normal life impossible knowing what you know mm. they because these guys are first dress so much i can't believe firsthand how people can manage that yeah and still carry on it's like you hear all this speculation yeah and you hear all this conjecture and you hear all the scientific community and exactly. everyone going back and forth and you're walking around with knowledge definitive proof that you know for that's a, a problem fact. because and how hard that would be that is massive to you, carry that on your shoulders it is i mean you you would end up with a complex where you're looking around at people just mm -hmm. say for instance you go shopping you see 30 40 50 people and you start to think to yourself oh these people have no idea yeah. you start to start to feel a divide in that just because you cannot release that information i can't imagine how, how they would i just live that every time i'd come back from brazil you know, investigating the, the Virginia case and getting closer and closer to more witnesses yeah. and, and, and doors opening and making more connections. I mean, it was it was difficult for me when I'd come yeah. home and people, oh my gosh, how was Brazil? I just love the coffee. I love the smoothies. It's and to kind of switch back you know, into a uh, different how was mode, your, you, know, you know? And it's like, uh, I think a UFO crash and live aliens were captured. Exactly. I know. <laughs> That's how Brazil was. Yeah, you know? yeah. it's people, not easy. People yeah. would look at me like I'd lost my mind, yeah. and I realized I can't talk about this.